Okay, have you guys ever actually opened up your mailbox and like you don't know what anything is, it's just a bunch of cluttered emails from senders that you've never really heard of? If that's the case, stick around. What is up guys, it's Matt here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at an application called CleanFox. This is for your desktop as well as on your smartphones. But this video is sponsored, just wanna point that out at the start. However, I've actually been using CleanFox for about two years now. And I can honestly say it's actually very useful and it is free, so you might as well stick around. So basically what CleanFox does, you go ahead and sign into your email account and it goes through all your emails and it allows you to go ahead and quickly unsubscribe from the sender so you no longer have to face any annoying emails from them and it will pretty much just go ahead and clear out your mailbox. Now CleanFox actually sent me out some stats which I thought was pretty interesting actually. So in the UK alone, 31% of emails are actually opened which is just kind of crazy. Like think about all the emails that are sent, 31%, pretty much 30% are actually ever open. So it seems kind of like a waste of time. For France and Germany, 40% are opened. In Spain, 28%. And in the US, it's about 32%. And if you think about that, the US probably has more emails than anyone. All the people in there and the companies, 32% are actually opened. It seems kind of like a waste to have all the other ones. And so the main purpose of CleanFox is obviously to clear out your mailbox, make things a lot simpler and easier when you go in and actually look at your emails. Now, not only does CleanFox go ahead and clear out your mailbox, make things a lot simpler for you in terms of actually viewing your emails and just getting rid of all the junk out of your life, but their main real aim is to go ahead and actually reduce emissions and the carbon footprint and overall just make the world a better place. So you may be asking yourself like, wait a minute, how does a virtual message, an email, how does that cause emissions? And so basically, obviously you're using power to send it on your own computer, but it does need to be stored somewhere so someone else can go ahead and actually access it and pull it out to view it. And so that's actually stored in a data center which runs 24 seven, uses a lot of power, it needs cooling, and obviously it needs staff maintenance. It basically uses up a lot of emissions. And so the more emails you have, the more data centers that are required to go ahead and store those emails. And so just by simply going ahead and unsubscribing, reducing the mail sent in the first place, that slightly slows down the expansion needed in order to store all of this data. But yeah, overall, we can just go ahead and reduce the emissions by just all going ahead and unsubscribing and removing all of that junk mail and reducing the need for the expansion of data centers. Now, a really nice figure they actually stated to me, which is super interesting, and I did actually look into it. They said one email generates 10 grams of CO2 per year. So that means that if someone sends an email and it's stored on a server for a whole year, 10 grams of emissions is basically being caused. And that basically means if you delete a thousand emails, that basically reduces 10 kilograms of CO2 per year, which is like a 51 mile drive in the average car. So you're gonna actually save a lot. If every single person did delete that, it would make a big difference. So if all the people watching this video, all of you guys delete hundred emails, pretty much overall on average, depending on my viewers, that will save about 42 tons of emissions per year, which is ridiculous. That's about the same as 11 return ticket flights from LA to London, which is just pretty mind blowing when you put it that way. And in other terms, it can also be 218,000 miles in terms of emissions for driving a Ford truck. So yeah, the whole flight thing and the truck, that's a lot of emissions. That's a lot of, of CO2 going into the atmosphere and we can easily go ahead and reduce that. But I always find like I can never really be bothered to go ahead and actually manually unsubscribe. Just going into the, each email and clicking on subscribe, going through the whole form, just seems so much effort. And so CleanFox gathers it all together and gives you this nice clean interface. And it's kind of like Tinder a little bit. It comes up with these cards with the senders and you can swipe left if you want to unsubscribe. You can swipe right if you want to keep getting emails from them. And you can swipe up in order to delete them. Now, it's pretty much just works the same as Tinder. Obviously, I get more matches in the mail app, but apart from that, it's actually a really nice UI and it makes things a lot easier. Now more than ever, it's gonna be appreciated if all you guys go ahead and download CleanFox, unsubscribe from your senders, especially after Black Friday. There's a lot of promotional emails out there that are currently being stored on the servers that you might not even realize. So if you just go ahead and delete those or just unsubscribe from them, that would help so much. So you may be asking yourself like, how does this actually work? Like, come on, like, how does it work? How does it access your emails? How does it go ahead and do this? Really straightforward. Well, basically all you need to do is download CleanFox you then log into your mail app, so say your Google account, that goes ahead and scans through all your emails, gathers them all together within the app, and then you can go ahead and easily just use the interface. Like I mentioned earlier, it's just these cards and you swipe left and that unsubscribes you. Swiping right then goes ahead and keeps you being subscribed and you can delete them as well. But when you go ahead and delete them, it does store them temporarily. So if you do accidentally delete something, don't worry, you can undo it. But overall, the app is free. 
and I really just couldn't live without it. It's super handy. So link will be down below if you do want to check that out. Now, just before we go, I want to mention WeForest has actually partnered with CleanFox. And so if you go ahead and actually sign up for CleanFox, it will give you the sponsor code. If someone else signs up, they can enter that code and that will go ahead and donate some money to WeForest and they can go ahead and plant a tree. So for every single person that signs up and gives a code, a tree will be planted. So not only will CleanFox actually go ahead and save the CO2 being put into the atmosphere, through reducing the amount of male scent, but they're also planting trees in order to create more oxygen, which is always a good thing. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much, Clean Fox, for sponsoring this video because your app is actually really helpful. I've been using it for the past two years now, and I really can't recommend it enough. It's free, remember. The link will be down below. So yeah, 50K, here we come.